Hello ladies and gentlemen, this is Lee. Thanks for visiting my channel. I'm actually reviewing a game today called Line of Defense. In full disclosure of this, I was only made aware of this game recently because I am a backer of a game called Star Citizen. Uh, this game specifically is made by a developer by the name of Derek Smart, who recently has come into a bit of controversy uh, between himself and the developers of Star Citizen as well. Um, in the form of his own attacks on the Star Citizen development. Uh, that being said, I am a backer of Star Citizen, I fully support Star Citizen, but uh, I only recently found out, I had never known who Derek Smart was before this, I found out about uh, Line of Defense, and decided, why not? You know, for what it costs to download this game and give it a try, I wanted to see what this game was all about. Uh, that being said, this game has been de in development for better part of about five years from what I understand and uh, from what I've seen so far looking at YouTube videos and whatnot uh, there isn't a lot to this game it's missing a lot of features a lot of things don't work and it's pretty empty right now uh, there's also the fact that you as this game is currently in early access on Steam there is some extra equipment that can be purchased at a extra cost other than the $10 package that I've, I've already purchased uh, to check this game out and, and see what it's about. On top of that, um, I, I kind of felt in watching the reviews of the game, you know, trying to keep any kind of impression I have regarding the developer and, and his opinions about everything else. That aside, he's making another game. Um, his game and his ability to create this game have a right to stand on their own merit regardless of his opinion of anybody else or their video game. So that being said, I'm checking this game out and I want to keep as open of a mind as I possibly can while I go through this. I did notice that in the reviews that I was watching, people tend to just kind of poke fun at it right away. Um, they were doing obviously dumb things uh, when the answer was right in front of them, or at least from what I could tell, at least what I thought I could tell. So I just kind of wanted for myself, my own knowledge, to find out, you know, what is this game and could it potentially be much better than people are giving it credit for. Now that being said, I have already logged into the game. I've made a character you can see on my screen here. And I have already logged into the game and run around a little bit. Um, I was a little surprised right from the get-go. Things didn't quite work the way I expected them to. But I, I've played games in the past where they didn't work the way I expected to and I turned out to love them later on. The game doesn't have the best graphics in the world. It is an alpha game. That could change. I really don't know. That being said, let's go ahead and get into it and see what we got. I've already went through the server selection. The base server that the game starts out on and tries to uh, direct you to is not online. Uh, so if you try to go into it without changing the server through this button here, it will just kick you out. And actually, okay, so it does say that US 1 is online. Uh, it kept kicking me out of that one, so I went to US 2, and we're just going to stick with that for now. So we'll just, you know what, fine. Oh, we'll just go back. All right, so I'm just going to go ahead and hit play. I have gone ahead and turned off the music. It was blurringly loud, even at 20%, it was so loud. I uh, just went ahead and turned that off. That's really the music's one thing, it's not what this is about, so... Being that that ship, according to the map, is the only thing I have access to, that's what we're joining. I have gone ahead and put this uh, game on its max settings. It is running everything at its highest at 1920 by 1080, the, res the native resolution of the monitor that I'm playing it on now. And so what you're seeing here is the best that this game has to offer graphically at this point in time. Now right off the bat, the first thing I noticed when I started playing was, uh, was my character just really fast. Um, I did find out, and I fear that... Wow. I had already knocked it down to 50%. Okay, that feels like that might be better. Um, so my character right off the bat, running really fast. What I did find is that if I hold down shift, it seems like running is the default mode of, of movement. Uh, so if I hold down shift, I am now walking, and it feels a little bit more natural. To me, usually I would say shift to hold down run. That's how I feel like it should be played. Now, one thing I had noticed right off the bat in one of the videos I was watching earlier is, is there was a guy in this same station that I'm in right now, or ship I should say, 
Um, but he was running around. He was looking around at, you know, trying to get out of here. I'll be honest with you. I haven't figured out how to get out of here yet. Uh, he would come over to what turned out to be an airlock. And he thought he could, you know, just press a button and get out through the airlock. Well, it was an airlock. It was telling me it was an airlock. It was actually sounding sirens like, don't do this. You're going to die, you idiot. Um, but he seemed to <laughs> still want to go through the airlock. So... It, it, it is what it is. I still have not yet myself found out how to get out of this ship and down to a planet, though. Um, and I'm, I'm kind of fearing that it may be the case that you can't right now. Because the one thing I noticed was that landing on a planet was not an option. Or at least spawning on a planet wasn't an option in the other screen. So still running around a little bit trying to figure out get my bearings I can see myself in the map in the bottom left hand corner and it's a map nothing to write home about but it's a map uh, so let's take a look here this is the entirety of this ship that I'm on right now uh, I am here as noted by a red circle as opposed to all the other circles that are white and I've explored part of the bottom deck, uh, deck three, and I've explored all of the deck one. Let's go down here. Let's check this out. Okay. So if I remember right, it was just a left-hand turn. Yep, and what's this? And I keep seeing these supply platforms anywhere, but I can't really do anything with them, it seems. I press F, and it just does whatever that action is. Um, F is my default key for interacting with things, uh, as I used it to get through that teleporter. But uh, this seems to be like a med level, perhaps? I'm just kind of... Wandering around looking for something. IAC. Supply platform again. IAC. What's this? Made a sound. Made a sound, but doesn't seem to do anything. Huh. Okay, that's jumping, whatever. Uh, the other thing I noticed that seems really weird is the scale of everything. This has driven me nuts in just about any game that does this. World of Warcraft, or a lot of MMOs do this, but the scale is always just off. Even Star Wars Galaxies, or not Star Wars Galaxies, Star Wars uh, The Old Republic, a game that I absolutely love and am still playing, has the scale where, for some reason, your character is about half the size they need to be to be able to use these objects. Like this chair? Yeah, my character, that's that's... That's a giant's chair right there. Um, but it's like that throughout this entire thing. I feel like my character literally needs to be about twice the size that she is in order to accurately fit into everything here. And this is just uh, holding down F to pick up stuff out of a random backpack thrown on the ground in some random location. Um, I would assume... It doesn't actually open up an inventory screen or nothing. It just shows you what you picked up in the top left corner there and what you picked up and what items you have but I would assume that having just a random item in the middle of the floor here is just kind of I mean it's alpha yeah it's a early access it's something that you're you come to expect in a game like this uh, would it be something I'd come to expect out of a game in development for five years no not at all but eh, you know this could be a small development team I, I really don't know to be honest with you how big the development team is or what their amount of time and design has been on this thing. I would assume this is a maybe a prison cell? Probably a prison cell? Quarantine? Something. And yeah, here I'm lost again. Alright, so we're gonna go to another floor. As I stated earlier, the only reason I found out about this game was because of some controversy that's been stirred up between 
a game that I currently support in Star Citizen and the developer of this game, or the lead developer of this game, uh, who is Derek Smart. And, you know, that's really not what this specific uh, review of this game is going to be about, but, in, like I said, in full disclosure, that is how I came to know about this game. So, it is what it is. Um, I haven't really explored all the way back here, so I'm going to try this. I just want to... That's odd. <laughs> so it looks like part of the floor is missing. It looks that way, but you just walk right across it without any issue. I don't know. That's uh, uh, weird. Okay, so again, as an example, it says right there quite clearly, it's an airlock. Um... All right, well, here's something I didn't notice before. Uh, so if I walk up to this, you can clearly hear the alarm. There's a little sort of a man on the screen with an exclamation mark in his chest, and that clearly looks like space out there. You don't want to walk out into that. But here is the suit. H-A-I-S and Mark II suits hanging on the wall. Sure. <laughs> hanging. Uh... Press H. Press H. Aha! All right, we've got some progress. So let's pick the place with the coolest looking building. Or not. Okay, let's try that again. So press H. And heat wave, probably a desert. Night bridge, no, no. Frostbite's probably a frozen place. Gulge, I don't know. Uh, let's go to frostbite. And select destination. Click. Oh, it's just whatever. All right. All right, we're off the ship. Let's see what happens. Now, one of the major complaints that I've seen all over the place about this game is that there's absolutely nothing to do. That there's no NPCs to fight against. There's nobody in the servers to play with. Um, unfortunately, I have seen the statistics from Steam regarding the server populace in this game. And I think its highest was like 10 or 12 at a given time at some point in time um i don't expect that there's really anybody playing in the server that i'm in right now or at all right now there might be but um uh, okay not right so maybe I just didn't pick a good place to land or something um, this definitely doesn't look kosher hmm. I actually think that would be rather pretty if that was uh, worked on a little bit more I can also, it feels like I can kind of see stars through the planet. Uh, the texture on the planet itself rotates with my movement of my mouse. So that's just kind of weird. Everything seems pretty stop motion right now. Not a lot of, I had a little bit jerky. I, I'm not sure what the frame rates are running at right now. I don't have that running in uh, the program I'm using to record this. However, the system I'm playing this on is not a bad system. I'm running dual 970 GTX cards in SLI at the moment. Um, that could be part of the problem. Maybe it's not optimized for SLI. Well, it likely isn't optimized for SLI at all. Um, it is uh, running a, an i7 processor and 16 gigs of memory. 
So, I really shouldn't have any issue whatsoever running this at all, even if it's unoptimized. I've played many games unoptimized and they've ran perfectly. Uh, Assassin's Creed Unity being one of them, it was horrendously bad for most people when the game launched. I ran it without issue at all. So I wouldn't expect to have any issue whatsoever running this. Let's just head over to this building over here, see what we see. Kind of landed out in the middle of nowhere. I was kind of expecting to see something of an NPC or something to shoot my gun at. Okay. Yeah. Somebody was making fun of the fact that that is full auto for this gun, and it's... Yeah, that's not very fast at all. Uh, anyway. Oh, here's the building I wanted to go into. And as soon as I entered this building, it lagged a little bit. And it's, yeah, it's pretty, being pretty rough on my system. And again, pointing out that these uh, containers are just massive. That compared to my character's height, I mean, it's obvious that some of these containers are not supposed to be that big. That thing's like suitcase size. And I am this tiny, I could fit in that. My character could fit in that. So that's always annoying for me, but... I don't know if that's done deliberately or if that's maybe just uh, something where they plan to make the characters bigger later or something. Who knows? Um, so not really much to look at in here. The other thing I'd note is that, and again, this may just be something that is being worked on in development, may not be, but there was really no direction given to you once you log into the game. It was game, go. Um, I took a look at the controls to make sure that everything was configured in a way that would make sense to me. It was. Um, I don't think there's any problem with how the controls are set up and the controls seem to work fine. But it, it really just kind of drops you in and expects you to know what to do and where to go and how to do it. Um, I didn't get any direction on how to get out of that airlock. It was just stumble across it and, hey, look at that. This is what I'm supposed to do. There was a sign on the wall. All right, so there's a sign on the wall. Great. Um, there isn't anything telling me where I should go right now to maybe pick up a mission or a quest or um, something to go do something. But this game did kind of strike me from what I was reading as being more of a PvP-centric um, build a base here, somebody else build a base over there, let's go shoot each other in the face kind of game. Uh, unfortunately, for that to work, you've got to have a large populace of people playing it. Unfortunately, I'm, I can't say that I'd honestly see this gaining that kind of populace in the state that it's in now. I would hope that more people would be more open-minded about this. Um, the developer's opinions and his antics aside, it really does... I mean, it, it looks like a game to me that has potential um there's a base here there's a baseline game here there is something here that could be made into something pretty good uh it the nice thing about it while it's claiming to be a seamless universe with no transition screens uh from what i understood from what i read it's not um i did have to obviously transition going from the ship down to the planet not a really big deal it really isn't um the world is from what i understand really large but we're not going to get into that in this video, um, so I'm really not certain to the, the fact of that. However, there is something here. This could be a pretty good game. It could rival games like Planetside or Planetside 2, uh, which is in its own right a really good game. Not the best of graphics in the world, but the gameplay is there, and sometimes that's all that matters. Um, I do believe, in my own opinion, that graphics are an important part of any video game. Anybody that tells you that graphics don't matter, it's all about gameplay... It's full of crap. Uh, graphics do matter. People build really high-end machines like myself for games that have good graphics. Doesn't mean I won't play a game with lackluster graphics like this one here if the gameplay is there. Um, that's just how I am. However, better graphics will add to the longevity of the game. Uh, this, this game would benefit from having uh, higher resolution textures, uh, from having 
more polygon count for sure. Uh, there's way too many hard edges uh, trying to like just looking at this rotating up whatever this is um, doesn't really look like a circle it's kind of like a I don't know <laughs> more than an octagon but it, it you can obviously see the edges around this object it's not really a complete circle is that something that would detract me from playing the game that you know entirely absolutely not uh, but that being said there needs to be people here to shoot at or something to shoot at something to do um, he did state in a video that I had seen that there was no vehicles in the game as of yet um, not by you know really design or it was kind of done by choice um, I guess they're just simply not ready at the moment but that's a big thing uh, you know you gotta have in a game this big you gotta put in something give us a I don't know a little motorcycle or something uh, the animation's definitely a little quirky, a little weird. Um, they could use some love and just kind of scale the characters up and make them bigger. Other than that, honestly, I think there is some potential in this game. Uh, I'm trying to keep my all of my bias from being a Star Citizen fan out of this. Uh, I do honestly, truly believe that there is potential for a game here. Am I particularly engrossed in the world in itself? I've, I've never played a game from 3000 AD. I honestly haven't. I've never played this developer's games in the past. I'm not familiar with the world or the lore behind this world. And it may be a really good one, for all I know. I'm not going to judge that because I really haven't looked into it. I don't know. Um, but again, there is something here that could be... Uh, I really need to remember to turn that off. There is something here that could potentially be a game with a proper amount of dedication and work behind it and i'm afraid that may be where this game is going to suffer the developer himself has stated that he really doesn't have much of an interest in this game in actually completing it um he seems to kind of just he says he's partially retired or half retired whatever that's supposed to mean um i kind of get the impression that he's kind of just doing this in his spare time just to kind of keep himself busy and have something to do but this game with the proper amount of attention, with a, with the right people behind it, maybe a bigger team and some real leadership in behind it, could definitely be a, an excellent game. It really could. Now that being said, that is my honest-to-God opinion of it. Despite my own biases of it from what I've witnessed, from what I've read, from what I've seen, from other YouTubers, from Star Citizen, from the developer himself, my honest opinion of this game is that it definitely could be something. Um, I just don't know what to do. I really have no idea where to go at the moment. And I feel like I'm going to have to spend the next few hours actually just walking around trying to find an NPC to talk to or something to talk to or do. Um, And all these guys here are just placeholders. They don't do anything or say anything or receive any damage or anything at all. So, that's it, everybody. I do appreciate your time in watching my video. I uh, feel like I've probably rambled on and gone in circles, but that's how I do things. I nothing, None of this was scripted. I had literally played this game for about five minutes wandering around in the, in the, uh, the spaceship up above before I turned this on and started recording, so this is it. My opinion of this game as it stands, you've heard it. And I thank you very much for watching. Thank you for your time. Everybody have a great evening.